Hey guys, Stony Creek here. I just traded for a homemade goat stand. It needs a little bit of help. Let me show you what we're going to do today. So my son shows goats in 4-H. He's got a couple of little boar does this year. Last year, if you remember from uh, previous videos, he had a couple little boar weathers. We're going to try does this year. But we needed to get a stand that he could use, something more his size, and also for those little does size. I don't know if you've all priced uh, brand new stands lately, uh, show stands. They're kind of pricey. I had the opportunity to do a little bit of bartering, and I traded for this one, although it needs a little bit of help. Let me show you what we've got and what we're going to be doing here today. Starting out with, this is the head stanchion. It's kind of hard to see right now. I'm going to show you a little bit later. This was just a rough cut piece of metal here. We're going to make this whole thing go away. I've got a uh, actual manufactured one instead of this homemade one. So we're going to make this guy go away. We're going to end up cutting off this square tubing. It's even missing the, the bolt there. I'm going to put on another piece of square tubing. The stanchion that I bought is a uh, larger piece than this so it won't fit in this hole. So we're going to do that. I don't know if you can see here, this has had some repair on it already. It's kind of rough even for my standards, so we're going to clean that up. Now keep in mind, I'm not a big welder either. There's always uh, farm good enough, and that's normally what we do. But I'm not even digging that for uh, farm good enough, so I'm going to fix that one. And then let me show you what other welding I've got to do here. It's kind of a bad angle, but this guy isn't even welded. This is just a, I don't know if they used two pieces of metal here and meant to weld that later on. If it broke, it doesn't really look like a stress fracture. It just looked like someone got tired of working on this project. Well, no better time than the present. Let me get some tools out, sit back, grab yourself a cup of coffee, and let's get this done. Well guys, what I've done to this point, I cut this old thing off. I cleaned up where it had been. And then I fabricated this piece. And wouldn't you know it, I always forget to hit record when I need to. But all this is, is a square, square stock here, inch and a half square stock. I drilled a hole straight in. I welded a nut here to the side and then I put an eye bolt in. This is going to tighten up that new stanchion. Right now it probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense to you, but it will here in a second. Now as you can see this piece is a whole lot bigger than what this piece was. Again this piece just sat right here. I'm going to beef up this whole structure. I'm making a little bit longer so I'm welding it from here all the way to the top. Now here in a minute, of course we're going to start making a lot of noise again, but just so that you know what you're looking at, sitting here on the truck, I'm not going to be able to use a level, because we're already out of level. So I'm not going to be able to see if this guy's plumb or not by using the level. But what I can do is use my speed square and make sure that it's a right angle off of that, and that way I know this will be level to what the stand is. It's not going to be level to the world using an actual level. But by using my speed square, I'm going to be able to get that joker just right. Well, now's the time to uh, refill your cup of coffee or maybe some iced tea. It's darn hot today. My, uh, my shirt's about soaked here. But uh, 
get yourself some beverage, and let's keep on going on. So I've had a small change of plan here. I had him cut a little uh, angle piece. Let me show you why. When I got this thing all clamped up, hard to see by the camera, but there's a big gap right there. And there's also a gap up here at the top. So what this piece is gonna do, I'm gonna put it right in there and then that's going to fill that gap. I had been driving for so long now That I forgot what I was leaving I couldn't even tell you what road I was on Or if I was only dreaming Well, let me show you what I had to do. I know it's kind of hard to see in the camera, but I had to move that guy out almost an inch, a little over an inch, so that the top part would be perpendicular to the stand. If I wouldn't have moved that out, this part would have been way out that way and the goats would have had to stretch way far out once we put them in that head stanchion. So just those little things. Well now that that part's done, let's uh, repair that other part that I told you about that's broke back here. Now that I've ground this off, I can tell that that actually was a uh, stressor crack. Let me show you what we've got here. This thing's so out of whack, I've got it supported up on a 2 before. Had a couple of old uh, discs there for weight to hold this thing uh, as straight as I can get it. But you can see that that crack lines up, but it's not straight. So it's not two pieces like I originally thought, or wouldn't be such a tight gap there. But with the weight here, hopefully that's going to hold it in place. I've got a little piece of angle iron down here that I'm going to weld in there as a backbone. But I'll put a weld uh, right through here. I'll put a weld uh, right across the top. Then we'll do one uh, right here. Just hold everything in spot. Looks like it sets pretty level. This is that head stanchion. You can slide right in here and this bolt is what ties it into place. It just screws down on that nut that I welded on here and then it sets up tight against this bar so it makes it adjustable. Well let's go see if this thing works. So there you have it, the goats are already trying it out. Let's put one in the stand and you can see how this head stanchion works. So you can see from here we can adjust this up and down for the height of the goat. This is her first time being in it so she doesn't know what to think about it too much. But from this stand we'll be able to wash them, we'll be able to brush them, do whatever type of hoof maintenance that we need to do to them and just get them used to being in a stationary position getting ready for the show. Well, I hope you've liked this. 
And as always, I appreciate you guys. Appreciate you watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you next video.